Hello everybody, Jordan Gasly here, and I am here to finally make a video that I've been wanting to make for about two years now. Uh, years ago, uh, a couple years ago during the pandemic, I did a couple of unboxing videos because everything was shut down. I typically don't do unboxing videos, but we were in the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, and I didn't have anything to make a video about, but I had some toys coming in, so I started to make these unboxing videos. Again, something I don't normally do, but they were fun while everything was shut down. So uh, here is me making the final video for all of those other unboxing videos from 2020. So uh, I'm just gonna roll the thing. And we are back. Again, some of you might remember the unboxing videos I did for the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Seacon set uh, for the, I think it was around the late days of the Transformers Power of the Primes, early days for the Transformers War for Cybertron. Uh, and I got all of these guys to make Piranicon. And I did do an unboxing video for each one. Uh, so, some videos I think I did like two of them in there, but anyway, point is, I made unboxing videos and then I showed you guys Piranicon, and he, uh, he kind of just looks like this. I'm not saying he looks bad, I actually enjoy the figure, but again, something that could have been a little bit better, and I believe I remember saying at one of the end of these, these videos, or those videos, that somebody will eventually make an upgrade kit, and I'm eventually gonna buy it because I'm a sucker, and uh, they went up uh, for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store uh, June of 2020, and I did not hesitate to pre-order one. Uh, the problem is, they stayed on pre-order until like three weeks ago, and I finally received my Seacons upgrade kit. So I'm gonna make a video showing what what all comes with it, and we're gonna put put it together, I guess. We're just gonna open it up, crack it open, have some fun, play with some toys, and see if we can get Piranicon looking a little beefier and nicer uh, than, than some of the uh, bare bones retool uh, accessories he came with. Before we go ahead and crack open the upgrade kit, I wanna give one final look at the factory released Piranicon with all the Seacons here. Uh, again, I don't think it's terrible. He is a little wobbly. I kind of have to use this guy to stabilize him. <sighs> we'll see. You know, I haven't really read any reviews on these upgrade kits, and I don't like to because uh, I like to experience them for myself. But uh, like I said, he's okay. He could be better. So this is what he looks like before we start putting on all of those pieces from the upgrade kit. And here we have the box for the upgrade kit. Also, uh, I added like a black background. It's something that I picked up a few months ago and I haven't really got a chance to toy around with. So this video is also gonna be my experiment using this uh, black cardboard background. So you might see me fiddle with it. Uh, listen, I'm not professional. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. Here's the box for the upgrade kit. It's the TDW, the Dreamwave, TDW, but TCW10. And if you turn it around, that's what we get on the box. We get a new sword. I really think he still should have come with a staff, man. Like, there's something about any kind of sea-dwelling creature or merman or mermaid that just has, like, a spear, which is, or a trident. Like, I don't know. I think that's a missed opportunity. Anyway, we got two new feet. We have two pieces that kind of like uh, makes the, the thighs a little thick, thick with three C's. We have a little area which kind of hides the negative space uh, for the arm joints. Not too sure what these are. And then we have a whole new chest piece. So let's crack it on open and see what we got. In the box, we do have the instructions, which we will need. If you remember, I threw away all the instructions for the Transformers just because I knew how to transform them. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have to perform action figure surgery or not for these guys, so we're going to hold on to them. But let's go ahead and see we have our little P-1000 
pieces right here for, what is that? I'm not too sure what these are. You know what, we're gonna find out together. Here are our two pieces for the thighs. It looks like we might have to use a small screwdriver to unscrew these pieces. Uh, let's see, yeah, these two small holes right there, very tiny screws. Anyway, uh, so that's those. Let's see, where can I put them to where they'll hang out? In the frame, sure, right there, why not? These are the two pieces that hide the gap for the elbows, right there. These are the new feet, and you can take these apart and they become extra guns for the individual uh, Decepticons. I don't think I'm gonna be doing that because I'm, I'm gonna display them as Piranicons, so. Got the two new feet, and they are a lot beefier than uh, what came in the box with the uh, with the other Decepticons. Those guys right there. The sword, and I am not gonna lie, I this thing is way larger than I thought it was gonna be, and it's a lot lighter too. So hopefully, uh, whenever he holds it, it's not gonna weight his arm down. But this is much larger than I thought it was going to be. I'll get a I'll get a shot here real quick uh, comparing the two swords at some point during the video. Maybe not right now. Maybe I lied to you. Maybe maybe it'll be a little bit later in the video. And the final piece is the new chest and head, which has a little bit of a bigger head. The joint is a little loose right there, but anyway, this is a whole new chest piece, and you can tell that it just gives him some extra oomph, some extra, I don't know, some extra beefiness right here in the, uh, the uh, undersea creature pectoral area. All right, so that's everything that is in the box. Let's start fiddling around with stuff. Okay, I've got the Seacons disassembled. Uh, I'm gonna put this guy off to the side because he transforms into the blaster and I don't really have to do anything with this guy. So he's, he's gonna come back later in the video. But right now I've got the arms, the legs, and the chest. I think what we're going to do, uh, because it's the easiest, is I'm just going to go ahead and swap out the feet for, uh, for the legs here. Bringing back in our legs right here. So we're going to go ahead, and I can't remember the names of these guys. And if you remember, uh, the foot that came factory was very, very much smaller. This is, this is the size difference between the two. Look at that. If I can get into focus, yeah, look at that. So not, not, a, not a lot going on with this guy. And what you would have to do is you'd have to take the extra hands that the toys were packaged with and you'd have to give them some heel support. So this already looks like a major upgrade. So let's go ahead, we're gonna click that. He also gets uh, ankle tilt on this one uh, with the upgrade kit, which is fantastic. Love good ankle tilt. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and plug him in. Oop, come on. Okay, there it is. I had to fight with him for a minute, but you get a little bit of ankle tilt. That looks really good. Shaping up really good. Okay. You get the next one here. This is actually my favorite of the Seacons. Tentakill. That's also such a badass name, Tentakill. All right, let's see. Port, peg. There we go, and I won't lie, that took me way longer than uh, I am prepared to admit. Uh, but this guy, this little guy was finicky. Also, his his peg is on this really weird hinge, so that's what was giving me a little bit of trouble. So, there he is. Tent to kill, ready to go. I think we're gonna work on these guys next. You know what, I'm gonna move these guys out of the picture just so my camera will focus a little bit better. All right, so here is the piece which will uh, replace this section right here and it kind of like fills this negative space and this gap. So in order to do this, I have to take the legs off of this guy right here, replace it with this, and then put the legs back on these little ball joints. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm gonna take the fist off 
here, put that there, and how am I going to, we're doing this live everybody, in real time, let's see, I think we can leave it like that, we will, see they're just on a ball joint, I don't want to do anything to hurt the figure, but a ball joint should be pretty easy to pop off I would assume, let's see, one leg, ah, 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 two leg, ah, ah, ah. Alright, so we now have to open this guy up right here. And those ball joints from right here will slot into this section right here. Let's do that real quick. It's pretty easy. There you go, that's what it looks like. Just gonna close it up here. And the legs will get popped onto these two ball joints right here. And that is going to add this elbow joint. So it looks a little cleaner. All right, so I got a little confused. Uh, so once I put it on, you actually have to twist uh, the waist here at 180, and then with the peg joints or the, the ball joints pointing down, you can pop these guys on. And then once you pop them on, you will have to collapse the legs from the transformation. So you can make them look like, man, look at that. That looks so good. And then there's a, a little bit of a lock mechanism that I have to grab real quick. So let me grab that. That little lock mechanism is one of those pieces that was in the bag here. And let me just make sure I am putting it on correctly. It has to look like this. And then we actually put it on this side right here. It goes over the two kneecaps there, and it just kind of clicks into this little slot. I'm doing a very bad job at this. There you go, all right. And then this little guy, this peg, it comes down like that to secure it into place. And that is the new, it's supposed to be. Oh, did I not lock it in correctly? There we go, and that is the new elbow joint. I think that looks pretty good. Where's that fist? Where did I put the fist? There it is. And then this guy comes back right here. The one thing I wish this set came with was better fists because uh, while these articulated hands that Hasbro released are better than the Combiner Wars versions, uh, this movable thumb. So if you wanted to have a left hand or a right hand, you could just move the thumb. This does not stay in place very well. I might just end up like super gluing it or something just because I'm tired of uh, him holding something and then his thumb come unhinged. And also these little things pop out as you saw a second ago. So we'll just go ahead and replace that and boom, one arm of the upgrade kit is officially installed. And I must say, it's looking pretty good. And that's a that's a nice that is a nice tight joint. So uh, I do not think uh, his his elbow will uh, slowly start to uh, fall because of gravity. We'll go ahead and get started with the other elbow joint. We'll take the fist off, split the legs. I know a lot of people were complaining about these Seacons being retools of the Terracons, but I thought the Terracons were actually very well done. And yeah, I would have liked to have seen some newer versions of the Seacons. That would have been nice, but I don't think the Seacons have been redone in a new form since their 1980s counterpoints, or counterpoints, counterparts. So, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not too terribly mad at it. Okay, here we go. So we're going to unfold this guy 
and we are going to slot him in there, make sure it's all the way in. We're gonna close it, close it up tight. There we go. I think that locks that into place. Looks good. So we're gonna lift this, twist one more time, and then we have the legs that'll pop right there. That was a nice satisfying, satisfying pop, right? Oh, that was a good one too. Nice satisfying pop. And then we collapse the legs. Oh, let's see, have to remember how to collapse the legs on this one, there we go. It goes up like that. Got to line everything up correctly. There we go. There we go. Get the fist. And let me double check to make sure he doesn't have something that goes across here. He does not need a little uh, locking mechanism like the other one did. So. He is good to go, and he's looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. All right, let's move on to the big guy, Snap Trap here, as he comes into focus. We gotta do a lot of work to this guy, so I'm gonna be reading the directions as we go along. So he's got to have his chest plate come off, which is uh, the old toy that was uh, his turtle shell and his shield. And these guys have to come off these little guns right here. And put that off to the side. Put that off to the side. And we have to actually take off some components of the actual figure. So we have to take these two little flaps off here in order to get the new chest plate on. And they're just on these very simple hinges right here where you can just pop those bad boys off. And then let's see what we have to do next. All right, we have to slot the Piranicon head right back where it's supposed to go right there. So it looks like this. We have to turn them around and get that little turtle spot down. And then we also have to move those. And these that make up the body will uh, make up what looks to be the spine of the figure. Because we now have to separate them. And we now have to put them over this way. Which there's no really good way to plug them in because that's not how the figure is supposed to transform. But that's where our new pieces come into play. So this is what he's supposed to look like at the moment, right there. Nope, I lied to you. His toes are supposed to be hanging over like this. So that is what he's supposed to look like for right now. And then we're gonna bring in uh, these two guys. And what they will do is they will connect together sit on top and that will give him his new uh, shoulder and frame and he has these uh, these two little ports right here and they're going to plug into these pegs right here so let's no oh, snap trap come back so let's go ahead and get that done put them together like this that way we get that nice little shoulder frame and the new shoulders where the uh, arms will connect into are going to be right here. Let me go ahead and There we go Thank you camera for focusing Okay, let's see can we I don't think there's a specific way that this has to go on. I think we can just plug it up and it should be good to go just the way it is. I think what'll happen is whenever we bring the chest plate in, it'll plug forward and lock all of this stuff into place. But that's what it looks like so far. Oh, he's also, something I just noticed, he's got these uh, shoulder butterfly joints for, uh, added with this, with this piece here. So, 
Not too shabby. Shaping up. All right, so the head is going to sit right in there, and that port's gonna port right there, that port's gonna port right there, and these two guys are gonna port on either of these two pegs on the, uh, I guess, uh, shoulder extenders or frame extenders that I just put on. So here we go. Don't fall apart on camera. Let's see. Get everything lined up. That is plugging in correctly. Uh, er, er, er. The crotch piece plugging in correctly. This should slot right there. That should be plugging in correctly. This is the one that's giving me trouble. Go. There we go. Plugging in correctly. Uh, that did not plug in correctly. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. All good. I had to fiddle around with him a little bit just to make sure everything lined up. But that's what he looks like from the back. That's what he looks like from the side. That's the, uh, the old uh, crotch shot there. And this is what he looks like from the top. He does have a little bit of hollowness going on because the, uh, the new breastplate does not quite lay flat on the surface of the original figure. But you're not really going to be showing it from that angle, but that's what he looks like now. So let's go ahead and, uh, what do you think? We should, uh, put them all together and see how he, see how he, oh wait, hold on. No, I'm not done. We still got to put his thick thighs on. Oh, how did I almost forget? So I do need to perform a little bit of surgery and unscrew these guys. I'm not going to bore you with that detail. So the next shot you'll see, uh, he will have, uh, his his uh, thigh implants on. I was able to get his thigh implants put on, but something to note, his right thigh, uh, it's in three pieces. This one, this one, and then this little middle piece here. And you have to just kind of screw them and clamp them on. And this one fits really well. This There's no issues. But for some reason, on the left one, I don't know what the issue is with the screws. Maybe the, the screws are just slightly shorter or what, but uh, his middle section uh, right here is just a little loose. And But, for, you know, the, the screws in these two ports are 100% in, and they're all on there uh, tight and secure like they're supposed to. But for some reason, the... the the more I tighten them up, uh, it still stays this loose. And I don't know what the deal is, but I can assure you both of those screws are as about as tight as they'll go or as tight as I feel comfortable without uh, potentially harming the figure. So I guess I'll just have to live with that, which isn't a big deal because it's not like I'm going to be like thrashing these things around or anything. They're going to be displayed on the, on the shelf. But that is what Snaptrap looks like with all of his new uh, Piranicon upgrades on. So let's go ahead. Oh, wait, hold on. These guys. I have to put these guys back on. So he, that's why I had to flip these guys here. He gets these cannons back and they are extended. So we'll go ahead and plug those in to either side right here. So he can still have those cannons. Look at that. That is fantastic. Let's go ahead and put him together. Let's see here. And I don't have a good workspace, but there he is so far, looking really good. Uh, so far, a lot more stable than he was with just the factory feet. But let's go ahead and man, look at that shot. That's like a Godzilla shot. Let's go ahead and get these arms put on. Let's go ahead and get a closer look here. Uh, I think he looks fantastic. So I did mention uh, that he was a little bit more stable because of the bigger feet. However, once you get these guys on, he does get a little top heavy. He does have a little bit of sway and that's also because he had a lot of weight shifted to his back but uh, I don't see a big issue 
with getting him to stand up. Like he he's really good about balancing himself and the joints here on the uh, ankle rockers for the new feet seem to be pretty stable. Let's go ahead and take a look at that new sword he comes with. There he is in the full shot and I kind of want to start talking about the sword here. Uh, if you remember the original Seacon figures came with all these different uh, pieces that you can combine together, much like the figures combined. You can take all their accessories and it would combine and make Piranicon's trident sword. Well, this is the new sword, and you can tell that there is quite a size difference. Uh, despite the difference in size, this one weighs just about as much as this, so that's pretty impressive for, uh, for having a, a larger accessory weigh uh, about as much. But let's go ahead and see what he looks like with this sword in hand. This is going to be a little tricky because uh, I was, when I was first impressed with his balance, uh, it has become a little dicey in the last 10 minutes since I've been messing around with him. So here we go. Oop, all right, my card ran out of memory, so I had to go around and get my other memory card. But here is what he looks like with the sword. Now that is a sword meant for the king of the sea. Look at that. I think overall he looks pretty fantastic considering what he used to look like. Let me go ahead and I know I'm holding my camera here. This is what he looks. I'm trying to get a full shot but uh, you guys can kind of see behind the scenes there. This is what he looks like now with all of his beefiness and add-ons put on and here is what he used to look like. So, uh, no doubt, I think he looks much more fantastic here. Uh, again, a big issue with these things is weight distribution. So he is a little back heavy, so I, I am, I, I had always had him propped up against uh, the back of a wall on the, on the back of my shelf, so I don't think he's going to topple over. But, uh, you know, that's just kind of, I guess, the price that you have to, you have to sacrifice something, and I guess uh, I will take the top heaviness in order for him to look as cool as he looks right now. So, uh, let's go ahead and see what he looks like with the blaster on. Alright, here's this guy again, and he plugs into this guy's, the top of this guy's wrist, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so uh, the elbow joint holds ish. It's not ideal, but once again, like I was talking about with the weight distribution, you put this guy on and he is totally leaning forward. So maybe he's best suited being held like that. And I think that looks really good. Man, if I can get him to stand up like this, I'm set. This is fantastic. Oh man, I also love the colors. The color scheme of this guy was fantastic. So let's go ahead and get another close up of him. All the pieces there. And he does get some added height with the new feet because I remember in order to get my other one to balance, or not my other one, but before the upgrade kit, in order to get this figure to balance, I had to use this guy as like a third prop right here. And he has a good, like, not quite a full inch, but maybe half an inch, three quarters of an inch right between uh, the surface and the tip of the gun there. But yeah, I am, I'm not mad. I like it. I'm into it. And here is all of the original pieces, which you will not be needing with the upgrade kit. So, I don't know, maybe you can kit bash them, maybe you can use them for something, I don't know. Maybe you can add them on to uh, to the add-on kit. Uh, I, I don't know, it's, a, it's your toy, do whatever you want, but I'm probably just gonna throw these in a box somewhere. Something that I do notice and I wonder if I can make happen, I don't have a 3D printer, but I do know some friends that do have a 3D printer, and I'm wondering if at the tip of the sword right here, right here, if I can get a double-sided five millimeter port printed, so that way I can take it and put it on the tip of this sword 
and then I can connect the two together to kind of have like a, I don't know, like a Darth Maul double-sided sword trident or something. I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas here, but I think that would look pretty cool. I would give him his staff that I kind of wanted, and I don't know, just a double-sided trident sounds really badass. Anyway, that's the upgrade kit. So in conclusion, I like it. Not too shabby. Thank you for waiting two whole years to watch <laughs> this thrilling conclusion of this Seacons uh, unboxing video series that I didn't intend to do, but did intend to do because of a pandemic. But anyway, again, long time to wait for the final video. I know, it was a long time for me to wait for a pre-order. It was probably the longest time I have ever waited for something to come out that I had pre-ordered. So June of 2020, and it re I received it in April of 2022. So not quite two months, or two years, not quite two years, just a little shy. 22 months is what I waited. That is bonkers. What was the longest you have ever had to wait for an item on pre-order? I'm curious. Leave uh, your comment below. Leave your answer below. But that's it for the unboxing series, the upgrade kit, and I can now put a period on this, uh, this video series that I had started. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate that you come to my channel to watch this stuff. You could use your time to watch any video on YouTube, but you chose to use your time to come over to my channel and watch this one, and it really means the world to me. So thank you so much. We'll catch you in the next video. See you real soon. Oh, also, uh, subscribe and comment and do all that stuff. That's, that would be great. I would love that. Thanks. Stay spooky. Yeah.